Good morning. We are on the phone now with Juliet. She stars as Eve on the Michael J. Fox show. So how are you this morning? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? Good, how are you? Um, so the first question is, how did you get into acting? Well, I grew up in a very theatrical family. And as a little girl, I used to watch my older sister perform in a ton of musicals and plays. So I was always in the wings, um, mouthing along with all her songs and dialogue. And so when I was about seven years old, I decided that I wanted to be in film and television. And uh, I was fortunate enough to have um, some connections to find a good acting coach who then connected me to a manager. And I got my first real uh, television role playing Little Girl God on Joan of Arcadia for two seasons. And ever since then, I've just kept auditioning. And um, so I've been in the business for over a decade. And uh, I'm really thankful for all the opportunities I've been given. And it's still my biggest passion, so. Whoa. How was it working on the set of Michael J. Fox Show? The Michael J. Fox Show is the best set I've ever had the honor to work on. Um, the cast is so phenomenal. Like, first of all, I mean, I get to work with Michael, who who is, you know, Marty McFly is now my dad, which is the coolest experience I could ever dream of. And um, we have Betsy Brandt from Breaking Bad and Katie Finneran, who's won multiple Tonys, and Wendell Pierce from The Wire. And so the cast, first of all, is just superbly talented, so I'm always learning from them. And the crew is just as great, very welcoming. Um, we have a ton of fun on set, and Michael really makes sure that it's a very um, open and uh, nurturing environment, so we're... We're encouraged to take risks and, you know, make mistakes so that we can learn. And um, we're always cracking up. So it's, it's very nice being on a comedy because I think I would just be very depressed if I were on a drama having to be very, very serious, you know, for five days a week, 17, sometimes 17 hours a day. So it's really fun having uh, a job that isn't really work. Can you relate to Eve as a character or a person? I can definitely relate to Eve. Um, Eve is, you know, a teenage girl. I really appreciate the fact that they write her as an honest teenager. So she's really negative sometimes. And I, I, um, I obviously, as a teenager myself, I can go through brooding phases and, and I'm irritable at times. But um, my favorite thing about Eve is that, and you'll see this as the season progresses, is that she's really into trying new things, and so she'll, you know, get involved with something that you wouldn't normally think she would be involved with. Like, in one of the episodes uh, airing in 2014, she gets involved in a beauty pageant, which seems so the opposite of Eve, but she kind of does it to spite her mom, and then they both get really into it. So I can relate to Eve on um, that level, and also on the fact that as a teenager, you're always trying to fit in, and you don't really know who you are. And, um, you know, Eve sometimes makes mistakes and changes uh, who she is to try to impress a guy or a group of friends or something. And I think that uh, a ton of teenagers can relate to that because this is a time where you're growing up and figuring out who you are and, and trying to stay true to yourself while also trying to have friends and be accepted. That's very interesting. How was the guest starring on the set of Good Luck Charlie as Victoria? That was one of my favorite Disney sets to be on. Um, I've done a, a couple Disney shows, starting with That's a Brave In, Going to Hannah Montana, Shake It Up, and then Good Luck Charlie. And Good Luck Charlie was one of the nicest sets. Um, Bridget Mendler is honestly one of the sweetest women I've ever gotten to work with. Like, I, I joined the cast um, well into their I think, third or fourth season, and... Um, you know, you'd expect maybe they'd all be stuck up and, like, over it because of the show's success, but they were all so welcoming and warm. And Bridget even had, you know, lunch with me and uh, Kevin, who plays Victor on the show. Um, you know, we'd all go out to lunch, and, and we'd eat with, you know, Jason as well. And um, it, was, it, was, it was great. And actually, Kevin, who plays Victor on the show, he's one of my really good friends, and we've stayed in touch to this day, he sometimes comes up to New York where I film the Michael J. Fox show, and so we'll all hang out. So um, it was it was an awesome experience. Very cool. How was it guest starring as Savannah on Shake It Up? 
um, getting to be on Shake It Up was amazing because uh, I I was on the show before the show had started airing, so no one really knew if it was going to be like a big hit or not. And um, I mean, obviously it was, and, and everyone had a feeling because they knew it had great writers and a great ensemble cast. So um, it was really cool working with Bella and Sandea, and we're still friends. Like. I've gone to a couple of their birthday parties and hung out and stuff, and they're really just genuinely great girls. And the fun thing about Shake It Up is that I got to dance on the show um, in the opening sequence. My, my character is a bit of a brat, <laughs> so <laughs> it's hard because sometimes I'll get recognized from that, and people will be like, oh, my God, I hated you. And I'm like, well, thank you. I guess you were <laughs> supposed to. Um, but getting to dance in, like, a mini skirt and high heels doing hip-hop, it was, it was a lot of fun. So that was another great cut to be on. Do people really um, relate you to your characters that are nasty or snobby? You know, you, you'd be surprised because I, would, I always thought that people would understand that I'm just playing a character. But growing up, uh, my, my biggest role as a kid that I got recognized for was Sierra on That for Raven. And she was this obnoxious next-door neighbor of Raven. And everyone used to think I was so annoying. Like, I would, you know, even though you're not supposed to, I would read these message boards and everything. They'd be like, oh, my God, this girl is so annoying, blah, blah, blah. She's, she's so obnoxious on that for Raven. And I'm like, <laughs> guys, that's, that's my role, you know? And then another time um, on CSI, I played uh, a genius murderer at age 10 and 12. And um, a couple of my sister's friends didn't want to come over to the house for a while because they were too creeped out by me. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was, it was very funny. Uh-huh. What character is your favorite character or was your favorite character to play? Um, I got to play Poppy in the movie Fired Up, uh, directed by Will Gluck, who also directed EZA and is one of the executive producers on the Michael J. Fox show. And I was about 12 years old when I did this role, and it was the most fun I think I ever had on set because I got to work with these the two... Um, stars of the movie were these adorable guys, uh, Eric Christian Olsen and Nick D'Agosto. And I had the biggest crushes on them, so I got to go to work and, you know, be, like, in love with the people that I was working with. <laughs> and I also got to do, like, gymnastics um, because my character was a cheerleader. But um, the fun thing about this character was that she was just, she was foul. And she was so, she was like a wisecracking, like, 12-year-old. And um, it was just a very fun set and a character so far from what I was. Um, but, like, I, you know, when I auditioned, I had to ask my mom if she was okay with me saying certain words and certain expressions. <laughs> um, so that was one of my favorite roles to play. And, of course, I'm loving being Eve on the Michael J. Fox show because I think that character is the closest to myself. Have you ever been starstruck on a set? Yeah, you know, I, I've been working with Michael now for... Uh, six months, seven months, and I'm still nervous around him. It's so funny. Like, I was actually talking to a couple people on set, and, like, he's just such a huge star. Like, I grew up watching him. I had a huge crush on him when I was a kid, when he was, like, Marty McFly and everything. And even though he's, like, the most real, down-to-earth, um, you know, like, genuine guy, I still get so nervous when I talk to him, and sometimes I just act like an idiot. Like, I'll... I would get tongue-tied and, like, fumble my words and say something that is, like, so out of character. Like, I'll make some joke that a 60-year-old man would make that's, like, not funny. <laughs> and it'll just be so, so awkward. So um, he's probably... I, I don't know why I'm still starstruck around him, but um, I'll have moments of getting nervous with him. But other than that, I don't usually get starstruck. Are you proud to be in the message that the show was showing about uh, the Parkinson's? I'm sorry? Are you happy that you're involved in such a show with the, um, explain, um, explaining what Michael J. Fox is going through? Yeah, I mean, Michael, before Michael came forward with his Parkinson's disease, the well-known people, hello? Yeah, hello? Okay, cool. Sorry. Um, the, the disease wasn't really well-known, and the public didn't know about it unless they knew someone who had it. And so I think that what Michael has done with the last, you know, over a decade of his life um, has been so brave and courageous to bring it to the forefront of the public's attention. And also it's just inspiring being a part of this project because, I mean, in the pilot we kind of deal with Parkinson's much more. And um, 
following episodes, it kind of just fades into the uh, subplot of the um, of the storylines. And so I think it's great that we're, one, getting people used to it so that people aren't afraid of, of being around someone with Parkinson's. You know, like, I mean, after being with Michael for 10 seconds, you kind of forget. And um, his shaking and tremor is just kind of seem normal. Um, but also just the money that he's raised. He's raised, like, some absurd amount of money. I don't even know the number. But... Uh, to, to find a cure for Parkinson's, and they're getting closer. And so it's just wonderful because I have some friends whose parents suffer from Parkinson's, and they'll they'll message me or something, and they'll say how proud they are to know me um, since I get to work with Michael and that this show has been, like, um, a point of hope for them and their family because if Michael has had Parkinson's since he was, like, 28 and he's still working full-time on a television show and he's getting better, like, nothing could be more inspiring. So it, it makes me feel really lucky to have the chance to work with him and be a part of this. So you can, so you can relate to the show more than face value. Right, exactly, because that's actually one of the hardest things about filming the show. In the pilot, um, my character has the closing monologue where I'm talking about, like, yeah, my dad's a celebrity, blah, 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 but really he was just a great dad who happen to have a stupid disease and she gets a little bit emotional talking about how his optimism keeps him going and it was really a hard scene for me to film um surprisingly because uh it was real and i had to you know take a break for a sec um because i got really choked up and i couldn't continue because every other role that i'd done had been just fiction you know no no reality behind it it was all just a script but knowing michael and um you know, growing to love him and saying that dialogue was very difficult because it just hit way too close to home, you know? Yeah. How? What would you tell someone who wants to get into acting? Um, I would say you got to just have the toughest skin because it's such a hard business. Um, and people are going to give you so much rejection, but you just have to know your own ability and your own potential and not let other people get you down. Um, because, you know, you can be so talented and so much of this business is luck and opportunity. Um, I would also say be prepared. You know, put in the work that you want to get out of it because it, nothing comes really easily in this business. Um, so I would say just stay true to yourself and don't let any fame or, um, you know, any, anything get to your head because uh, staying grounded is the most important thing and, the best actors are the smartest actors and the most kind actors. So um, I think what goes around comes around. And if you stay true to yourself and just really commit, then uh, you'll have a great future. What time can we tune in to watch the Michael J. Fox show? What time? Yeah. Um, it's on Thursdays on NBC at 930 uh, and then 830 Central Time. Thank you. Do you have a Twitter account, Facebook account, or a fan mail address where fans can contact you? I have a Twitter, and my Twitter uh, is twitter.com slash Juliet Bolia. And um, so just my name. And then my Facebook account is facebook.com slash official Juliet. And you have no fan mail address, correct? Um, I think that you can look it up online. I think it just, you send it to my agency and they forward it along. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I had a...